Hey Virgo, we're here for your weekly tarot love reading, September 30th through to October 6th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any of you lovely cross watchers dealing with a Virgo romantically. I do like to remind you it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate, and you are welcome to take what works and leave the rest. If you'd like to get a personal tarot reading from me, I do currently offer those through my Etsy shop. If you're interested in checking it out, the link is just in the description box below the video. So it's the first week of October, Virgo. I personally am a very, very big fan of the fall weather. So I love cozy sweater weather, pumpkins, pumpkin spice, all of the Halloween festivities. It's totally up my alley. Do you guys love fall as much as I do? Definitely feel free to share in the comments down below what's your favorite thing to do in October. And uh, yeah, I just hope that this month is very warm and cozy and loving. And of course, just sending you guys all the love as we head into this first week of October. So let's see what's coming towards you in love, my lovely, lovely Virgos. First card coming out today, we have got the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is a card of celebration. It's a card of connecting with our community. So you could be celebrating something in your love life this week. You could be meeting up with friends and maybe if you're a single Virgo, somebody could be asking you out. This could potentially be a friendship turning into something more romantic. I also feel if you're a single Virgo, your friends might be setting you up with somebody. And if you're in a relationship, maybe you're going out on double dates with friends this week and just enjoying the company of others. So let's see where this goes. Tell me more about what's coming toward Virgo. That's beautiful. Look at that, the fool, a brand new beginning. There is a brand new opportunity and love coming for you this week, Virgo. This is exceptional if you're single. I really encourage you to keep your eyes open to love coming in, especially somehow connected to your friend group or somehow connected to your community. That's how I think love is gonna come in for you this week. Now, if you're in a relationship, I feel like there's gonna be some sort of brand new experience that you and your person are having together. And when you have these new, fun, exciting experiences together, it deepens the love. It gets to know, I was gonna say it gets to know you. You get to know each other even better. You have the excitement and the enjoyment of trying new things together and having new experiences. And I think it just brings a lovely energy into the relationship. Let's get one more card about what's coming toward Virgo. Oh my goodness, Virgo. Okay. I go through periods where you get the nine of swords a lot and then it kind of disappears for a while and then it comes back. And I don't know why, I'm a Virgo moon, by the way. So I feel like I connect with this energy, but I feel like this is that very like analytical, overthinking kind of part of the Virgo brain sometimes, where everything's going super great, and then we start overthinking. So here, I'm gonna give you a little bit of advice for this week, Virgo, and I say it with love, again, as a Virgo moon. So here's the thing, there's good stuff happening for you to, this week. There's something to celebrate. There's love, there's connection. With things going this well, watch out for going into this negative space. Watch out so that you're not looking at everything good that's happening and then being like, wait, is it too good to be true? Should I be worried? Should I be anxious? Like, don't overthink it, my loves. <laughs> you know, if things are really good this week, watch out for a tendency to then be overthinking it and talking yourself out of it and wondering like, is it really this good? Am I allowed to enjoy this? Can I be happy? You can let me know if this connects, but it's kind of what I'm picking up on. I think that somebody watching this video is gonna have something really awesome happen to them this week. And then like that overthinking part of their brain might come in and try to mess with it. And I feel like you just need to be like, shh, that's okay, it's fine, we don't have to be anxious. <laughs> so that's a little bit of advice, but otherwise, I think there's a really beautiful new beginning in love and really beautiful connection. So here's what we're gonna do for the rest of the reading. We're gonna look more at this person and we're gonna look more at you. So we're gonna look at their general energy, what they're feeling and what actions they're taking. And then we're gonna look at the same thing for you, Virgo, and we will look at the potential outcome. So let's get into it. Tell me about the person who's here for Virgo this week. All right, four of pentacles. They're holding on and they're never letting go. <laughs> this person is like, Virgo is my person and I am here and I am not going anywhere. 
Tell me more about this person, Page of Wands, yeah. They're gonna be flirting with you this week. They're gonna be having fun with you. This is a very kind of young, playful energy. It is possible that you are dealing with somebody romantic who's a little bit younger than you perhaps, or it doesn't even have to connect with age. You could be dealing with somebody and regardless of what their age is, they have this very like playful, youthful, kind of fun and exciting energy. So I see that your person just wants to have fun with you this week, Virgo. Tell me more please about this person. And then we've got the Two of Swords. So it's kind of interesting because now that we're getting into it, it kind of looks like your person could be the one who's getting up in their head a little bit this week. Now, again, I've seen this energy for you before Virgo, so you can definitely take the advice that I gave you earlier, but I kind of feel like your person also needs that advice this week because what I see is that here's the two of you having a really good time, having so much fun, and then all of a sudden they're like, wait, what's going on here? And they start overthinking. And then they're in this weird limbo where they're kind of at this crossroads where they're like, is this too good to be true? It, you know, does Virgo feel the same way about me? So it's interesting because that nine of swords could definitely be your person where the two of you are having so much fun together and then all of a sudden you feel like they've kind of shut down a little bit and it's because they're overthinking what's happening here instead of just living in the moment. Maybe this is the big advice for both you and this person this week is to live in the moment and don't let those anxious thoughts run away. Just watch for it. Watch for when it comes up for you, but I think that it could also be coming up for your person. Let's see what they're feeling this week, Virgo. Two of Wands, okay. Lots of planning, lots of preparation. I'm gonna throw something out there that came to mind, take it or leave it. I'm getting a little bit of um, like a met meticulous vibe. So what I'm feeling here is that your person is a planner and I don't know that they are very spontaneous. So I think that they are someone who likes to plan. They like to know what's happening, where they're going, what's going on. And it's funny to me because I'm looking at this fool card. And like I said, the fool card is like taking a leap of faith, experiencing something new. A lot of the times it could be pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. And I kind of feel like maybe that's just a little bit of an uncomfortable place for your person. Like maybe they are somebody, I'm gonna say that they are somebody who doesn't like surprises, okay? Because they don't wanna be surprised. They wanna know what's happening, when, let's plan for it weeks in advance. Those are really good qualities, by the way. I think those qualities serve them very well in lots of areas of their life. But I also think that sometimes when they have to be a little bit more adventurous, they might freak out a little bit and they're like, I don't know, like I'm a little bit more uncomfortable when we're just being spontaneous and then they get kind of anxious. So that could be what it is. Like if there's something new happening in your relationship or if this is a new connection, maybe there's something happening this week where they feel they don't have control of the situation and that makes them a little bit nervous. Can you connect to this? When I say they don't have control, I don't mean it in a way that they're controlling because I don't think this person is controlling at all, but it's more like their comfort zone is when things are planned out and when things are familiar. So if there is something happening this week where the two of you are being spontaneous, it might make them slightly uncomfortable, okay? Let's see what else. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, okay. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles, which you know I love. This is one of my favorite cards because it's about being very intentional, taking your time to build a solid foundation. So that fits with what I was saying, where I was like, your person's very plan, plan planning, planful. They plan, yes, they plan. Um, your person likes to plan. They like to map things out. They like to talk about what's coming next. And so the Knight of Pentacles is really highlighting that that they are serious about you, that they wanna really take that time to get to know you and really just make sure that there's that solid foundation within your relationship. So I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is more their speed. Tell me what else they are feeling this week. Oh, okay. <laughs> I kind of like it. Okay, Ace of Wands. I'm, I don't know why I'm smiling. I think. Here's the thing, I'm getting good vibes from this person. I think what I'm getting is that they're very genuine. I think that they 
love you, they're into you. Um, and I think there's gonna be something this week that pushes them a little bit outside of their comfort zone, but they're gonna try to do it. Like they're gonna try to step outside of their comfort zone because they know it's gonna make you happy. So I feel like the Ace of Wands is them being like, you know what, yes, I like to plan, I like to be structured, but I just wanna kind of live in the moment with that Ace of Wands, which is a very fun, passionate, enjoyable energy. And I think that this week they're like, okay, let me just try to live in the moment a little bit more and enjoy this connection with Virgo. So it's cute. I feel like they're gonna be pushing themselves outside of their comfort zone a little bit because they know it's gonna make you happy. And what that tells me is that this is the kind of person who cares about your feelings and thinks about what you want. And even if it means doing things that make them a little uncomfortable, they're gonna do it. I'm not, I'm not talking about things that are like going to make them like super uncomfortable. I'm talking about like the little ways that, you know, we can maybe push ourselves outside of our comfort zone because we know it's gonna make someone happy. That's what I'm picking up on. I'm not talking about pushing themselves out of their comfort zone in a situation that feels awful. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking more about like, yeah, they can push themselves a little bit and then the two of you end up having this super spontaneous, fun, amazing day together and then they end up having a blast and so do you. Uh, so let's see what actions they're taking this week, Hermit, <laughs> which is Virgo energy. <laughs> Honestly, I have to laugh because I feel like this is them realizing they need to come out of Hermit mode. You have to tell me in the comments if this connects Virgo, because I feel like it's kind of a specific message, but I just feel like your person is a little more reserved, a little bit more of a planner, but they're really trying to get out of their shell this week. Tell me more about what actions they're taking, the Nine of Cups. Oh. They just want to make you happy. Honestly, this is the energy of like, they just want to be a better person for you, Virgo. And they are already an amazing person. But it's like, they look at you and what I'm so strongly getting is they just want to make you happy with this Nine of Cups. They want to make all of your dreams come true. And so if that means that, you know, you're excited about something, maybe it's a little bit scary to them, but they push a little bit against their comfort zone because they want to be there with you. They want to do these activities. And at the end of the day, what really makes them happy is the fact that you are happy. I, I just, I hope I'm really telling you this, Virgo. I'm very much getting the sense of someone who is always thinking about you, thinking about what would make you happy. Like in their mind, it's always like them thinking about what can I do to make Virgo happier? Like it's so focused on you with so much love and so much care. It's really beautiful what I'm picking up on here. Uh, let's get one more for what actions they're taking the strength card, which is gorgeous. Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo romantically. Here's the thing, you guys. They have very strong feelings for you. They want to make you happy. They'll do whatever it takes to make you happy. So I feel like this week they're looking at it and they're like, what can I do to strengthen my connection with Virgo? What can I do that's going to make Virgo smile? What do I think... I can do that's going to make Virgo just happier than anything. And they're basically doing things here to strengthen the connection and to also prove to you how strong their feelings are and how much they love you. This is a good one, you guys. I really like this person's energy. It's, it's kind of the energy of someone where they're not perfect. Not, none of us are, but it's like they're perfect for you. Like they, they're so genuine and so caring and so loving and and I think they're just doing everything that they can to make you happy. It, it's really lovely what I'm picking up on. You can let me know if this resonates with the energy of the person who you're dealing with. I hope so. Okay, so let's look at you this week, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo, please. Six of Wands, yeah. You're feeling good about this connection. You're feeling good about where things are headed. The Six of Wands is about victory, success. And I think this is a very special connection with the two of you. <laughs> We've got the unknown. <laughs> I use the Crystal Visions Tarot. It has a bonus card called the Unknown. I, I have to kind of laugh here because you know how I was saying, like, I think there's just going to be something this week where you guys are going to try something brand new and step outside of your comfort zone. I kind of feel like that's what the Unknown is. And I think you're excited. So what I'm picking up on here, Virgo, is you're excited to try something you haven't tried before. And you're like, I don't know what it's going to be like because I haven't done this before, but I'm so excited to try it. And I'm so excited to try it with my person. Seriously, you have to tell me what this is in the comments. Okay, tell me more about Virgo, please, the Empress. Yeah, you love them. You just want to nurture this connection. I feel like 
you guys are the kind of couple where your friends are just like, the two of you are so cute together, Virgo. Like there's something I'm picking up on between the two of you that is just very adorable and sweet and loving and caring and all that good stuff. So let's see what Virgo is feeling this week, please. Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands tells me that you could have a lot on your plate this week. There could be some responsibilities you need to take care of. Um, I'm getting, I do not know why I'm, this is coming to mind. I think this is maybe the first time I've ever felt this on my YouTube channel. What I'm getting to my, come to mind is like, you're the oldest child and you have a lot of responsibility. I don't know, Virgo. I don't think I've ever said that on my channel. And you have to let me know if that's significant. Like, is there something this week where you're the oldest child, you're the responsible one? If you are, there might be something that you're dealing with this week. It could be a little bit stressful. So just watch out for managing that situation. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Literally don't know where that message came from. Anyway, uh, tell me more. Okay, Three of Swords, interesting. So the Three of Swords is a card of heartbreak. There's something here about needing to get closure about a situation that was hard for you. Take that if and how it might connect. Sometimes the Ten of Wands can represent emotional baggage. So it's kind of interesting to have the Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords. Part of me is like, I don't know, does an ex reach out to you this week? And you're like, yeah, no, I don't think so. But maybe it gives you an opportunity for closure. Just be mindful of that. I'm also getting a, an interpretation. It's maybe not the most traditional interpretation, but I'm looking at the Ten of Wands, right? And I was like, look, you might have a lot on your plate because people put a lot of responsibility on you. Maybe you're pushing back this week and being like, I don't always have to be the responsible one. Other people can be responsible in this situation. And maybe you're setting boundaries, right? Maybe this is with friends. Maybe this is with your family. You know what happens sometimes when we set boundaries, people don't like it. And so people might be upset with you and you might be feeling maybe even a little guilty yourself because you're like, okay, I'm kind of pushing back. I'm setting some boundaries, but the boundaries are healthy. And I don't think that's about your person, by the way. This is not about setting boundaries with your person. My sense here, it's related to family. Again, you can kind of let me know if that connects, but I just feel like there's something here where your family maybe comes to you a lot with their problems and they need you to solve things and all that kind of stuff. And you're like, I love you guys and I'm here for you, but like, this is exhausting. So there has to be some limits here because at the end of the day, you wanna live your life as well and you wanna have fun. So that could be something that comes up this week. Again, it's kind of specific. I don't know where that's coming from, but you can let me know if it connects. Uh, tell me what else you're feeling. Three of Pentacles, good. So even though maybe you're a bit stressed, other people are placing a lot of demands on you this week, you know what's amazing, Virgo? Your person, this lovely person that we've been talking about totally has your back. They're right here beside you saying, how can I support you? How can I help you? I literally am like, I wanna marry this person. <laughs> like, I think, here's the thing. They're probably not the most like flashy, exuberant person in the room, but they're steady. They're so genuine. They're so loving. Like. There's something about them where there's all these beautiful qualities. It's like, are they gonna be showing that off at a big party in front of everyone? No, they're the person who's probably gonna be a little bit over to the side, maybe doesn't want the attention on them, but everything that they bring to the table for your relationship is so beautiful. So it's like, they're not gonna be the loudest, most showy person in the room, but they're gonna be the person who has your back and is gonna be there for everything that you guys go through. I don't know why you guys, I'm just really, really into the energy of your person. It just feels so supportive. Uh, so let's see what actions you're taking this week. Five of Swords, there it is, there it is. This is why I love the tarot, you guys. Um, I always say to you, Five of Swords is like drama, 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 people causing drama. And so this is you being like, okay, if my friends, if my family, if anyone's causing drama, I'm walking away. I'm disengaging, right? So you're choosing not to be a part of the negativity because here's the thing as well. If you're setting boundaries with like a friend or a family member this week, they might be trying to guilt trip you. That's what I'm getting with the five of swords. And so you're gonna have to be strong so that you maintain your healthy boundaries. Boundaries are not to hurt somebody. Boundaries are for us to protect ourselves and to say what is okay and what is not okay. 
It's not like a personal attack on somebody. It's something we need for ourselves. But I'm getting something here about a guilt trip. Like if you try to set a boundary with somebody, like a parent, they might guilt trip you. Um, so you might have to like stay firm in your boundary and just let them know like, I love you, it's not about that, but I do need to set this boundary because that's what I need for my well-being. Let's see what other actions you're taking this week. Hi Priestess, I love that. Connecting with your intuition, using your intuition to lead your decisions. I also feel like the High Priestess indicates a very strong soul connection. And honestly, I think that's what's going on with you and your person, right? Romantically, there's just something very, very special and very deeply connected between the two of you. Let's get one more card for what actions you're taking this week. Yep, it's a theme, right? Finding balance. Here you are with the Two of Pentacles juggling all these responsibilities that everybody places on you. So the big question you're asking yourself this week, Virgo, is how do I bring things more into balance? What feels good for me? What are my boundaries? What do I need? Your person's gonna be totally supporting you through all of this, by the way. But I think this is a good week for you to reflect on where you're spending your time and energy. And like I already said, setting healthy boundaries and saying no, right? If someone's like, I need you to do this and this and this and this, and you're like, that's a lot. It's okay to say like, I can't do that thing. That's not something I can take on right now. It's okay to say no and be assertive. So let's see what the potential outcome is here within this situation this week. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna take that. Okay, this is what I've been tapping into the whole reading where I'm like, I don't know, this person's amazing. You guys are soulmates. And then the outcome here is the Two of Cups. If you are familiar with the tarot, you know this is an exceptional card. It's one of the best cards to get for love. It's about a soulmate connection. It's about true partnership, finding your match. So what do I think is going on here? You're meeting your match, Virgo. This loving, kind person who's always gonna be there for you, always have your back. And this is just confirming to me that yes, this is a very special connection and it's just blossoming into something absolutely beautiful. I love that for you. So this is gorgeous. Um, like I said, there was some interesting messages in here for the week. Definitely know, let me know how they connected with you, Virgo. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this reading, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, I do offer those through Etsy. The link is in the description box below the video. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.